Where am I? Where in the... Oh, hey kids, it's Teacher Jay. Where in the world is Teacher Jay today? I'm gonna provide some facts, and yes, I'll also give you a few clues. You have to decide where in the world I am. Now you'll notice the place I'm standing now is a huge railway station. They call it the CST Terminal, and it's the biggest one in this whole country. Thousands upon thousands of people and trains moving in every direction. Some fun facts about this place. There's over 1.2 billion people living here, making it the second most populated place in the entire world. For those of you kids that like math, the decimal was invented here in 100 BC. The official language here is called Hindi, and the money they use here is called the rupee. If you want to check out a cool book in this part of the world, you may want to visit the Asiatic Society Library with over 800,000 books, many of which are rare and very valuable. A few clues that might help you decide where I am today are some of the amazing dishes that you can eat here. Just thinking about them are making me hungry. They have delicious curries here, and what would a great curry be without some naan bread? It's a flat kind of bread, and they often season it with things like garlic. And you can wash it all down with a delicious beverage called a mango lassi, which is a little bit like one of our milkshakes, but it's kind of different. And I bet you didn't know this, the cashew nut comes from here, and it grows on the bottom of a fruit. It's called the cashew apple. Now another clue is the practice of snake charming. Here goes back hundreds of years, where a person will play an instrument and actually hypnotize a deadly cobra. A fun fact, thousands of flamingos flock here every year for their annual migration. Now you kids love animals, don't you? Here you'll find elephants and monkeys. There's tigers and even an endangered species of dolphin that swims in a river called the Ganges. Now the Ganges River has always been important in this part of the world. People bathe in it, wash their clothes in it, and actually drink from it. However, it, over the years, it's become extremely polluted, making it very dangerous for the people that live here. One of the most amazing places to visit when you come to this country is the Taj Mahal, an amazing structure built by the Shah Jahan to honor his departed wife, Mumtaz Mahal. And you know, it would take a lot of money to build something like this. The rulers of that time were called Maharaja and had very extravagant jewelry. Sometimes they would wear so much jewelry that they couldn't even walk because it was too heavy. One of these necklaces that they wore had over 2,900 diamonds and tons of rubies, making it worth millions of dollars. The rulers here were very wealthy, but there were a lot of poor people here and there's still a lot of poor people here today. I want to take you boys and girls where some of these poor people live. This area is called the Mumbai slums, and over one million people live in one square mile. Entire families here live in one small room, as many as five to six to seven people all huddled together in one area without any proper sanitation. You think about using the bathroom, they don't have bathrooms here. It's really, really a tough place with not a lot of money. The people here live on one to two dollars per day. The kids here love to play just like you. Unfortunately, they don't have a clean place to play. And you know, boys and girls, we should be looking out for kids that are less fortunate than we are. Kids that are gonna go to bed hungry. Your parents might have some great ideas to help poor people right in your own backyard. And that reminds me of a verse in the Bible. In the book of Proverbs, chapter 19, verse 17, anyone who is kind to poor people lends to the Lord. God will reward them for what they have done. Well, that's all the time we have today. Tune in again next week to find out where in the world is Teacher Jay.